here. Quiet, miss. I'm thinking. And that's a real strain for old Day Day. Dig nibbit! Cotton picking horn boy! I'll arrest him for disturbing the peace! Ooh, what a car! Must be one of them rolling Royces. Quentin Q. Quincy's the name, millionaire tycoon, by profession, that is. I came down here to get away from all the phonies, you know what I mean? To live with plain, simple-minded folk like yourself. I know that must come from the heart, sir, but, well, we don't have any extra houses around. Then I'll build one, my boy, right up there on the hill. But, but... I'd be much obliged if you'd take care of my suitcases while I survey the property. They're packed full of these, son. Hell, yeah, this one's for you. Oh, wait. <laughs> A thousand dollars in money. Well, now, how do you like playing our dignified deputy playing bellhop to a city slicker? Now, when you build my house, son, keep it plain and simple. I want to live here ignored by the entire world, just like you folks. And please, please forget that I'm a millionaire. I just hate being so rich. I hate it. <laughs> He's gonna make a nice neighbor, boys. I'm a good judge of character. One thousand, two thousand, three thousand. This little old log cabin brings a tear to my eye. It reminds me of how I started out in this world until that old devil wealth caught up with me and forced the comforts of life down my throat. And for making me so happy, I'm gonna give half of my millions to you, son. <laughs> Hello. Deputy Dog, this is the sheriff. I've got a real important job for you, boy. Here's a news flash for you, sheriff. I'm quitting. I just became a millionaire tycoon. <laughs> Deputy Dog, Deputy Dog. A couple of mean-looking characters are kidnapping Mr. Quentin. And they're taking all his money, too. Hey, my hat's going with it. Let's go, boys. Just keep those hands up, mister, and keep moving. Say, there must be millions in this suitcase. Hey, I got the money, D.D. -D. Run, Mr. Quincy, run! You're all hard, son. Help, somebody. This fellow's dangerous. What happened? What happened? Dagnabbit, Vince! I had him captured, and you just uncaptured him. Mm. Well, I can see this place isn't going to be half as quiet as I thought it would be. I sure hope Mr. Quincy gets away. If you can't save the man, save the cash. I'm sure Mr. Quincy would like it that way. What in tarnation's going on around here? Phew, boy, we've been very busy, Sheriff. Oh, then you have been helping those treasury men I sent up here. They've been on the trail of Phony Phil, the slickest counterfeiter in the country. Say, he looks a lot like that kindly old Mr. Quincy. Ooh. Now, what's this about you quitting your job? Who, Deputy Dog Sheriff? Why, we could never let that happen. Why, where else could we find a deputy with his qualifications for detecting criminals? <laughs> <laughs> Must be a real funny joke somewhere, but I don't get it.